What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to a Nether Modern Warfare 2 video, man. Today we're going to be looking at a gun that is absolutely disgusting, the M4. I updated my class for it and it is probably one of the most disgusting classes ever. You're going to drop SMGs with this class, you're going to drop ARs and it still has the accuracy and the recoil control along with fast ADS, fast sprint to fire and everything that just makes this gun absolutely insane. So check it out guys, this is the updated M4 class. Now I have two classes for the M4 that I want to share with you guys. The one that you're watching in the background right now is the class that's made for close, mid, and long range. But then I also have an M4 class that I want to share with you guys that's made specifically for close range. So the first one right here, guys, before we get into it, if we could drop a like on this video, man, we're going to set a goal of five likes. That, it's, it's crazy. I know it's hard to do, but we're going to do it anyways. Let's, let's go ahead and drop that like button, guys. And then also I want you guys to sub to the channel if you haven't done so yet. That would be amazing too. But let's get into it. So this class right here, the first thing you're going to throw on is actually going to be the barrel. And for the barrel, we're going to go with the Tempest Trench Pro. Now this one right here is nice. You get movement speed. You get ADS speed. You lose some recoil control and bullet velocity, but it's not too bad. And then you're going to go into the tuning and you're going to put the recoil steadiness to the top and the ADS all the way to the max as well, which is really good. And you're going to notice that when you go into the tuning, the recoil steadiness does not really lower your aim walking speed too much. And the damage range is still very high on this, even though you have the ADS all the way to the max. So don't worry about that, guys. The next attachment is the Echoless AD muzzle. Now, this one right here gives you sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. Now it takes away some ADS and aiming stability, but that's all good because we're going to go into the tuning and we're going to put the ADS to the max and the idle aiming or aiming idle stability to the max as well. We don't really need bullet velocity. We're not playing any uh, war zone or anything with this class right here. So we're playing multiplayer with it. So the bullet velocity, you don't really have to worry about that. It's still pretty quick to begin with the bullets. It's pretty much hit scan. Like you don't have to worry about it. The 60 round mags is definitely something we want. There's a lot of negative with it. Please connect your control. Stop doing that game. So you lose movement speed, you lose ADS, you lose reload quickness and you lose sprint to fire speed, but it's honestly not that bad. Like it's barely noticeable in the game. So running 60 mags is definitely worth it in my opinion. The next attachment is gonna be the X10 grip. Now the X10 grip, is actually really cool because you get a more sprint to fire and more ADS. Now you only lose some recoil control. If you guys look at it right here, the little redness there, you don't lose too much of this. It's actually not that bad at all. So I, I would really recommend using this. And then you go into the tuning and you put the ADS all the way to the max and the sprint to fire all the way to the max as well. And then for the final attachment, it's going to be the Tempest P80 strike stock. Now for some reason, it doesn't really let me go into it. Like if you go up from here, it goes straight to tuning. If you go to optic and then here, it allows you in there for some reason. Ah, the game is weird. You got more sprint to fire, more ADS, more crouch movement speed, and more aim walking movement speed as well. You lose some recoil control and some aiming stability, but it's really not that bad. And you go into the tuning, throw the ADS to the top, and then the aiming, I, I, I leave this close to zero. So I, I don't really need to change the one on the bottom there. Now that's the class that you guys are watching in the background right now. You're gonna see it's actually really good. The ADS seems pretty fast. Everything seems pretty good, but there's two things that you could change on this class if you want it to be just a little bit quicker, if you want it to look a little nicer, and if you want it to play just a little better as well, which we're gonna switch over to the next gameplay in a minute here. I wanna show you guys that one as well, but I just wanna talk about this class quickly. So the reason I made it was because the M4, I realized, it was pretty decent at long range. It wasn't bad at all. But then I said, what if I make this class have faster ADS? Because the ADS seemed very, very slow on it. And I changed up a lot of attachments from my original M4 class setup, and I find that this one's really good. Now, the last class setup that I shared with you guys for the M4, you guys should definitely go watch that video too, because that one is meant just for close range. It is so fast, it is so good, and you guys, uh, everyone that watched that video so far, said that that class is absolutely amazing. So if you want a really good M4 class for up close, uh, go go check out my last M4 video. It's really nice. I'll probably even link it down in the comments below for you guys. So you don't have to go searching for it and stuff. You can just go down to the comments and check it out. Now, one thing I want to talk about this class right here, we could change a few things on it. And this is going to be the second class. We'll sh I'll show you guys this gameplay in the background as well. One thing that I really recommend doing is taking off the Echoless 80 muzzle if you don't want it. So this one, like I said, it gives you sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smooth this but if you look at the green bars there if there are anything if those are to be legit at all i don't know if there actually are or if it's just there to look cool but if you should believe those stat bars there's uh there's not much positives to this and you do lose ads so if you take that off 
and leave it off. You don't need to change the muzzle or anything like that. I think it's pretty good. Now the barrel as well could be something that you guys want to switch to. So the barrel, maybe you want to switch it to something that gives you even faster ADS or anything like that. Cool, go for it. What I really recommend doing is taking the barrel off and we'll get back to the next attachment in a second. What you want to throw on for sure is going to be either the Cronin Mini Pro Optic or you could even throw on the Slimline Pro. And the Slimline Pro, if you guys want to unlock that, you got to get the Lockman sub to level 11. It's really not that bad to unlock. I thought when the game first came out, because I was locked and there was no way to unlock it, I thought it was going to be really hard to do. But with the Cronin Mini Pro as well, if you guys don't have the other one, go ahead and throw that on. You want to put the eye position to far. I used to think close was better, but far is definitely the best. And then you want to put the ADS all the way to, to the top as well. Now, a lot of people are saying far is the meta at the moment. It seems the best and stuff. It, it really does. In terms of recoil and at least visual recoil in the game, if you have this set to far, it shows up a lot less when you're firing, firing your weapon. When you're shooting your gun and stuff, you don't really notice the recoil as much. If you put it all the way to close and you start shooting your weapon, it's just going to look a lot weirder. It's going to look a lot more jumpy. It's going to be a little harder to hit shots. Even though it's only visual recoil, it's going to trick your brain for some reason. You're going to think it's actual recoil. And I'm not really crazy about that. So right here, we got four attachments. Now, you could leave it at these four attachments if you want. And it's not a bad idea because some attachments in this game, it's not worth putting on the fifth one because you put on the fifth attachment and then you go and lose a lot of stuff after that. So it, sometimes you just don't want to put that fifth attachment on. It's cool, it's whatever, you don't have to put it on. But one that I really recommend and that gives no cons at all is the 1MW laser box. Now the reason I throw this on is because it gives you hip fire ac accuracy and it gives you hip recoil control, which is really something that's kind of nice because if you go and you shoot people from the hip, which is going to happen a lot when you get into close range gunfights, you don't have to worry about ADS and you don't have to worry about any of that. You can start hip firing like I always recommend. We'll go into the firing range just to show you guys this here. And what you could do is you could start hip firing the weapon and then go into the ADS. And this way you can start shooting the enemy before he even goes and shoots you. So it's actually really nice to do. I'm going to show you guys again some more gameplay of this gun in action. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. The sprint to fire is pretty fast. You could just go like that and start shooting pretty instantly. And then it's, it's really nothing too bad the ads off sprint is good the ads when you're standing still is pretty good like the regular m4 the base m4 doesn't have an ads this fast this class right here i would say it's on par with a lot of the smgs and it's still good for a range as well like when you go up to 50 meters and stuff you'll probably want to tap fire that for sure because it's a little harder to hit but the recoil i'll show you guys once that once that little thing comes back up it's not the easiest to control either i'll be honest with you guys so you go like that you're able to hit your shots but usually it was kind of like all over the place and stuff up close it's gonna be really easy to hit and then mid-range it's gonna be really easy to hit as well now i want to show you guys something else quickly just before we get out here but if you go into the tuning for the optic and you set it to close it's not too much of a difference but i kind of just wanted to show you guys this just so you can see how it is so you go there and then it looks a lot closer, right? And the visual recoil, just even at the mid and close range shots, it's a little harder to control. And then when you go far range, I'm having a tough time controlling it there. So definitely set that to far. It's the nicest when you do that. And yeah, that's it, guys. That is the class setup. If you guys have enjoyed this video, like I said, man, we're going to go for a total of five likes on this one. If you guys could hit that, that would be absolutely amazing. Sub to the channel if those notice turned on. And let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys like the M4 in this game or do you prefer the M4A1 Modern Warfare 2019? I'm going to be honest. I really thought the M4 from 2019 was a really good gun, but I'm starting to love this one a lot more for some reason. So yeah, anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch the other M4 class setup that's built just for up close and it destroys people, I'll link that down in the comments below on the pinned comment. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.